Hello everyone, this is Sean here with Church Mag doing another program video. Uh, this time around I want to talk a little bit about uh, antivirus, more specifically paid versus free antivirus and whether or not it's really worth it in your environment to go with a paid antivirus over some of the great free options that we have. Uh, there was definitely a time and a place when free antivirus was not all that effective. Uh, more specifically, late, late 90s, early 2000s is really when uh, more free antivirus solutions began uh, making their way around the internet. Uh, a handful of them, uh, Panda Antivirus back in the day, uh, which then turned into Komodo Antivirus, I know was one that I really liked. Um, Avast was great. Uh, in fact, the thing that got me turned on to Avast was a, a uh, I think, creator versus created or something like that video where they really focused on Avast at the end of it, which is really hilarious uh, if you ever have a time to, to, to look that up. But more specifically, uh, the, the market was controlled by, uh, by Norton, McAfee, uh, and a few others that were, that were lumped in there. Uh, antivirus was, was good, uh, but the free ones just didn't have the weight that these larger organizations had. Uh, it's not really the case anymore. So there are a lot of really great free antiviruses out there. Uh, there's also a lot of great paid antiviruses out there. Um, some of the free ones that I really like personally, um, I like Avast as long as gaming mode's turned on. I don't like things popping up often. Um, AVG, Panda Security, Bitdefender, Zone Alarm, a few of those. The one that I use a lot more than the others is Sophos, and that's primarily because uh, their enterprise solution is so solid, and it's something that I use on a re regular basis at work. Uh, as far as paid, uh, some of the same ones, uh, Bitdefender, Sophos, Avast, they all have their pro versions that are all really great. Um, Webroot is another one that, that does a great job. Uh, usually what you're seeing in a lot of these uh, paid solutions that you're not getting in the free solutions is uh, these extras. The antivirus support and the antivirus uh, security, to be honest, you're not going to recognize the difference between the free and the paid solutions. But what you do get with some of these paid solutions are things like web browser plugins that help tell you when there is a potentially harmful resource on a website. They'll, they'll alert you beforehand. Um, some of them provide backup solutions, uh, cloud storage solutions. Uh, some of the free versions of these paid solutions have ads in them, uh, not usually pop-up ads, although in the case of Avast, I have seen some, but typically those are pop-up ads for Avast and not pop-up ads for another solution or another service. Um, you can also get some that give you anti-theft tracking, uh, parental controls, email spam filters, uh, password vaults, things like that that to, to be completely honest, aren't needed in most circumstances. Uh, if you're watching this video, you are probably at least somewhat technically savvy, and these are kind of the solutions that you're probably going to find better solutions for free elsewhere than having to have them all lumped into one. Um, the other thing that I really wanted to mention uh, is, is really a lot of times, and for those that are tech savvy, maybe you already know this, uh, for those that aren't, or those that didn't know this in the first place, this is a really vital bit of information. Uh, if you've gone to Best Buy and you've purchased a computer and it comes with a 30-day free trial of, of McAfee or a 30-day tr free trial of Norton Antivirus, something of that sort, um, either pay for it or uninstall it. Uh, I, I say that because I've ran into so many situations where people thought they had antivirus security on their system. What they had was a 30-day trial that expired a year and a half ago and it's no longer getting virus definition updates. It's no longer uh, updating to, to the latest version. It's effectively just sitting there keeping the built-in antivirus in, in um, like Windows 8, Windows 10 from working because they're going to detect that there is an antivirus installed and it's going to disable the built-in antivirus. Um, I, I, I'm okay with people not going with an antivirus at all. That, that's perfectly fine if you're on Windows 8 or Windows 10. I prefer to have something that is dedicated uh, and as a third party uh, that handles a little bit more than what the built-in antivirus does in Windows 8 and Windows 10. Windows 10 is significantly better, but I, I have trust issues, I guess. Maybe that's the case. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, of course, uh, antivirus on Mac. Uh, it, is, it is essential. You, I, I've been working with the Mac platform for well over a decade now, and now is the time to invest in looking at making sure that your system is secured with something, some sort of antivirus. Uh, Built-in security just does not cut it. 
and the more popular the platform gets, the more viruses are gonna be written for it. So a couple that you can keep your eyes out for that are um, Avira is free, uh, Avast is free, uh, Bitdefender is a paid version. They There may be a free version of Bitdefender to try on it, uh, but again, my number one for, for Mac is free, and that's Sophos, S-O-P-H-O-S. Sophos Antivirus is fantastic. Um, I get no kickbacks or anything like that from them, but uh, it's what I'd highly recommend you look at if you're on a Mac, uh, because it is the same uh, same level of defense as you're going to see on their enterprise solution. So anyway, real quick video here. Uh, try to keep this as short as possible. But if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them down below. Uh, if there are any other future videos you'd like to see me cover uh, as quick as possible, I, I would hope uh, that uh, you can uh, leave that down below as well. Leave a comment on the site uh, or just message me on Twitter. I'd be more than happy to chat and uh, create more videos like this in the future. Take care, everybody.